Hello, in this video tutorial I will demonstrate you how we can enter the external walls of our model home with the function numeric polygonal input. We have split this video tutorial in two parts. In the first and more quick part we show you the entry of the external walls of our model home with the function numeric polygonal input. In the second part we will also show you the layer construction and other function which are from interest when entering the walls with the function numeric polygonal input. Now we start with the first part, therefore we have already created a 2D and a 3D view and we have vertically aligned the views next to each other. This gives us a very good overview during the entry. Also we have deactivated the grid and the line width. Now we can start to enter the walls, therefore we select building, walls, external wall and numeric polygonal input. We could start now with entering the walls, but in our example before that we will add a horizontal and a vertical guideline to have a better orientation when adding the walls. We press escape and now we select 2D and layout, 2D guidelines, guideline and the vertical guideline or we close this window and we press the shortcut G for the function vertical guideline. Before we enter the guideline we define the color of the guideline therefore we press the right mouse button and we select properties. We click on appearance, we click on the color, green is already selected as color that's correct and we confirm with OK and OK. Of course you can also click on the function save as default to save the defined settings for the guideline as default also for future projects. We confirm with OK. We place the guideline for example on this position and afterwards we press escape to end the function. In the next step we add a horizontal guideline as well. Therefore we press the shortcut H for the function horizontal guideline. Of course we could select the horizontal guideline also with 2D and layout and 2D guidelines. We place the horizontal guideline for example here and after it we press again escape to end the function. Now we zoom with the help of the mouse wheel a little bit into the view to get a better overview. And now we select building, walls, external wall and numeric polygonal input. Before we start to enter the wall we define the properties, therefore we make a right mouse click and select properties. Here we enter for the thickness for example 0.30 meters and after it we can confirm with OK. Now we start the entry of our walls. We start it at the intersection of our guidelines with a left mouse click. You can find the reference point of the wall in the middle of the wall where our cursor is. The reference point is displayed by a blue circle. To change the reference point of the wall we press the key combination CTRL and W. This is the correct reference point and now we press the left mouse button. The tool options window opened automatically on the right hand side and here we enter now the length of 13.80 meters. If we would press the tab key we could also define the angle. In our example the angle is already defined with the help of the guideline and so we can confirm with enter. The first wall was successfully created, now we continue with the rest of them. The next wall is into this direction. To create a 100% vertical or horizontal wall we press the CTRL key to use the angular grid and we make again a left mouse click. 
For the length we enter for example 8.30 meters and now we press for example the tab key to change the angle. The angle is already defined with 90 degrees, that's correct and we enter now for example 60 degrees. As you can see the angle of the wall has changed. The angle always refers to the extension of the previous and the new wall. In our example this results in an angle of 60 degrees. Now we change the angle again to 90 degrees and after it we confirm with enter. The next wall is in this direction, we press again CTRL for a 100% horizontal wall, we press the left mouse button, we enter 5.50 meters and we confirm with enter. The next wall is in this direction, we press CTRL and press the left mouse button 5.50 meters again and enter. The next wall goes into this direction, we press CTRL, left mouse button, we enter 8 meters 30 and confirm again with enter. The last wall is vertically along our guideline, we press the left mouse button, we enter 13.80 meters and confirm again with enter. We successfully entered the external walls of our model home and now we press several times the escape key to end the function. Now we select the 3D view and we press the shortcut position 1 or home for the function show all. In the last step we will now display the floor area of the room we just created in the 2D view. Therefore we select the room labeling with a left mouse click, right mouse button, properties. The properties open, we select labeling. Here we select the point floor area. We enter for the prefix FA for floor area and we confirm with OK. After it we press escape. Now the floor area also gets displayed in the room labeling. This was the first part of our video tutorial about the function numeric polygonal input. In the second part of this video tutorial we will create the external walls of our model home and we will define the layer construction of the wall. Also we will show you some tips and tricks when using the function numeric polygonal input. Before we will enter the walls we will add a horizontal and a vertical guideline. We start with the vertical guideline therefore we press the shortcut G for the function vertical guideline. We place the guideline for example here and after it we press escape. Now we continue with the horizontal guideline, we press the shortcut H for the function horizontal guideline, we place the guideline for example here and after it we press again escape to end the function. Before we enter the wall we will define the layer construction, therefore we select building, walls, external wall and numeric polygonal input. Now we press the right mouse button and we select properties. The properties open and the first thing we do here is to change the thickness to 0.30 meters. In this menu we could define now a standard wall. In our example we want to create a custom layer construction. That's why we make a left mouse click on layer construction. Here in the layer construction menu we will create a wall that consists of an insulation layer and a concrete layer. In the moment the wall in the left hand preview window consists of one brickwork layer. To add a new layer to the wall we select one of the two following functions, either insert new layer above or insert new layer below. We select below with a left mouse click. And now we select the upper layer in the preview window with a left mouse click. Now we enter a description for this layer, in our example it's the insulation layer 
and for the thickness we enter for example 0.06 meters. After it we press the tab key to accept the changes. In the preview window we can see now that the thickness of the insulation layer has changed. Now we select the layer below with a left mouse click, for the description we enter concrete and for the thickness for example 0.24 meters. We confirm again with the tab key. In the preview window we can see that the thickness of the concrete layer has changed and when we switch between the concrete and the insulation layer we can see that our settings stay the same. In the next step we will define the material of our layers, therefore we select the insulation layer and we click on material. Here we select 2D display and for the fill style we select monochrome. You can find a video tutorial about using the fill style to defill pattern called how to use the fill style to defill pattern for walls on our website catvilla.com support en. This function is only available in the product versions Catvilla Professional and Catvilla Professional Plus. In the next step we select a color for our layer, therefore we click on the color, we select for example yellow for the insulation layer and we confirm with OK and OK. The color of our insulation layer has changed to yellow. Now we select the concrete layer with a left mouse click. We click on the material. We select 2D display. For the fill style we select again monochrome. Now we click on the color. For the color we select for example grey and we can confirm with OK and OK. As we can see also the color of the concrete layer has changed. Both layers, the insulation and the concrete layer are now correct defined and we can confirm with a click on OK. Now we continue with the entry of the external walls of our model home. The first point is the intersection between the two guidelines. The reference point of the wall is displayed again by the blue circle in the middle of the wall. To change the reference point we press the key combination CTRL and W. This is the correct reference point and now we press the left mouse button. The tool options window opens and for the length we enter 13.80 meters. After it we confirm with enter. The next wall is in this direction. We press CTRL for a 100% vertical wall and we make a left mouse click. The length of this wall would be 8.30 meters. In our example we make now a mistake and we enter 3 meters and confirm with enter. Now we press several times the escape key to end the function and in the next step we will correct our mistake. I will show you now two different options how we can correct the wall length. In the first option we select our wall with a left mouse click and we can see now that the wall length is 3 meters. The most easy and quick solution for this problem is to click on this symbol and we enter the correct wall length of 8.30 meters. After it we confirm with enter. We press escape to end the selection and now we press the shortcut D for the function distance. We measure again the distance of the external wall and we can see it's 8 meter 30 and correct. We press escape. There is also a second option how to correct the wall length. Before we start we select the function undo or we press the key combination CTRL and set. Now the wall has again a length of 3 meters. Now we press the shortcut P for the function numeric parallel guideline. 
and we enter the numeric parallel guideline from this line into this direction in a distance of 8.30 meters. We confirm with enter. Now we press the escape key to end the function. And now we press the shortcut V for the function extend shorten wall. We extend our wall from this point to this point. After it we press escape. Now we measure the wall, shortcut D for the function distance. The distance is 8.30 meters, that's correct, and we press escape. Now we select the 3D view and we press the shortcut position 1 or home for the function show all. Now we have a good overview in the 3D view, we select again the 2D view and we continue with our entry. We select walls external wall and numeric polygonal input. We select a start point. This is our start point. Now we change the reference point of the wall with CTRL and W. This is the correct reference point. We make a left mouse click. We enter for the wall length 5.50 meters. The angle is correct and we confirm with enter. We continue with the next wall. We press CTRL for a vertical wall, press the left mouse button. For the length we enter 5.50 meters and we confirm with enter. The next wall is in this direction. We press CTRL, left mouse button, 8 meters 30 and we continue with enter. The last wall is in this direction. We press CTRL or we orientate on the guideline. Left mouse button. 13.80 meters is correct and we confirm with enter. Now we press escape to end the function. And in the next step we will display the floor area in the room labeling. Therefore we select the room labeling with a left mouse click. Right mouse button. Properties. We click on labeling, we select floor area and we enter for the prefix FA, we confirm with OK. After it we press escape. The floor area is now displayed in the room labeling. If we zoom now a little bit into the view with the help of our mouse wheel, we can see the different layers of our layer construction. On the right hand side the insulation layer and on the opposite side the concrete layer. We zoom out of the view again with the help of the mouse wheel and finally we also deactivate the guidelines. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials visit our website catvilla.com.